Generally, when we design buildings, we don't design them to be shut down for two months at a time. We design them to be used. What we've never seen is massive building shutdowns across the country. And this is office buildings, this is schools, this is sporting venues, and this project focuses on what the consequences are of shutting down buildings across the country and allowing water to stagnate in their plumbing. Right now, we're involved in drinking water safety in buildings and understanding how buildings can become contaminated and how you can decontaminate the water and plumbing inside buildings. So you ready? Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna flush for five minutes. This water sits in the pipe that ages and chemicals leach from the plumbing like lead and copper and accumulate in the water. And so under normal circumstances, somebody comes along and uses that water and the levels of chemicals are not high enough to pose a health risk. But when you have extreme stagnation or buildings shut down and nobody's in them, then all that water sits for much longer than it ever was supposed to. And so what we're doing is trying to figure out right now what the baseline levels of chemicals are in buildings. And then with the shutdown, you should have stagnation. And then when more and more people start coming back to campus, we'll sample again to see if that water quality is deteriorated and then how to basically get that bad water out. have water moving slowly through a pipe instead of fast, or water just sitting in a pipe, that water gets old. Old water can contain copper, lead, sometimes bacteria that can be harmful. So I'm just measuring flow rate because we're gonna talk about flushing in the paper and how every tap has different flow rates even maximum ones, so flushing doesn't mean the same thing at each tap. When you go through a building, if you put it on full flow, it's going to be different at each tap. So agencies will give recommendations that, like, you should flush for five minutes, but five minutes doesn't move the same amount of volume through. Like, if it's going really slow, that's not very much volume, and if it's going faster, that's better. If you look back to disasters, there's all different guidances in the last 10 years, but plumbing doesn't change. So if you flush for one minute one year, disaster, and you flush for 30 minutes the next year, but it's the same plumbing system, that's a, that's, there's something wrong there. Like either somebody's overdoing it or somebody's underdoing it, and that's generally what's been happening. It's important that guidance be available for these building owners about how to safely restore service to those buildings and what they should be looking out for. And right now, there is no guidance, and that's what we're going to be working on. So this opportunity here, COVID-19 Response, presents a unique opportunity to again drive science into the public space to help people. That's why we're doing this.